Hello, I'm Jim, your computer support expert from Complete Systems Design, and I'll be creating a series of simple how-to videos for those of you who want to utilize some of the key benefits of Windows 7 and Office 2010. In this video, I will show you how to avoid viruses while browsing the web. In upcoming tutorials, I'll cover more features of Windows 7, functions of Microsoft Office, and ways to protect your data. All browsers are susceptible to getting a virus, even if you have a good antivirus program such as Symantec Endpoint or McAfee Antivirus with updated antivirus definitions. If you are browsing the web and a pop-up or web page comes up saying something like, warning, your computer may be infected with a virus, would you like to remove it? Or warning, your computer is running slowly, would you like to optimize it now? Do not select any of the choices within the browser. Instead, close your browser immediately by clicking on the X in the top right-hand corner of your browser. Clicking on any of the choices within the browser may enable the virus to bypass your antivirus program. If the web page prevents you from closing your browser by clicking on the X in the right-hand corner, right-click on your taskbar at the bottom of the screen, Start Task Manager, click on the Processes tab, and then click on the column heading Image Name to sort them alphabetically. Now right-click on iExplorer, Firefox, Chrome, or Safari and end the process tree. You may have more than one instance that needs to be closed. Some other things to be aware of. There is no such thing as Windows antivirus or Microsoft antivirus. If you see that, it is a fake and is trying to get you to install something that is a virus, spyware, or malware. If you are attempting to play back a video file and the website you are browsing tells you that you need to install a program to watch the video, Leave the page immediately, unless you are 100% sure it is a legitimate website. If you can watch a YouTube video, chances are you don't need to install any additional software. If you get an email that appears to come from FedEx, UPS, Airborne Express, or the IRS that includes a self-extracting PDF, just delete the email as they do not send emails that include self-extracting or self-expanding PDFs. Even if you get an email that appears to come from someone you know, it may be a virus. A computer virus on an infected system can send emails to everyone in that person's contact list, which increases the chances the receiver will open the email. So if the topic of the email seems a little odd for a friend, family member, or coworker to send you, you may want to check with them before opening that email attachment. Chances are your company CEO isn't purposely sending naughty pictures of Anna Kornikova to both his male and female employees. For more IT support, please go to www.completesystemsdesign.com. Thank you for your time.